sounds right. Alright everybody, welcome back to the Fly the W studio here in Greenville, South Carolina. It's Chris Strub here on a Tuesday night. Gorgeous night here in the Fly the W studio, of course. Um, it's 105 days until Election Day. It's uh, July 21st. We're still in various stages of coronavirus lockdown around the United States. Um, but hey, just a few months uh, until a major presidential election. So before we do get going here, um, just a reminder to go to www.vote.org to check your voter registration status for that election and any, any primary elections that may be occurring before then. You can follow me on Twitter or Instagram, about Twitter and Instagram, uh, at Chris Strub. And of course, here on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Um, as I will be continuing to play this game quite a bit uh, as we go. Not a lot of talking to do tonight. Uh, I'm pretty tired. Just uh, thought I'd have a little nightcap and get a game in here uh, before the week runs away from me. We're going to play tonight as Elizabeth Warren, so uh, we'll see how we do. We'll stick with that uh, second highest difficulty. I don't have much more to add. I would show you sunset cam, but it's really cloudy out. It was raining before, so just uh, not much going on out there. <laughs> Let's do this. Where'd you go? There you are. One little old fashioned on a Tuesday night. Never hurt anybody. Let's fire it up, here we go. So we're gonna play as a Democrat party, painful difficulty, standard advanced options. Our candidate tonight is going to be Liz Warren. There's her stats and description if you wanna pause the video and check those out, feel free. Our opponent tonight, as usual, is going to be Donald J. Trump, the incumbent president, as you see there on the right side of your screen. There's his stats and description. Let's get going. Crank the volume up. We'll do a little semi-speed run here.
fly to damn Alaska? Didn't help. Second town hall in Alaska. I'm getting smoked in these ideologies. It's gonna be tough to turn things around. Another one. Should have seen it coming. We're breaking out the big guns here. Of course, you know if you've watched me play this game before, you know that uh, you know that the vice presidential selection doesn't make any difference at all. Again, screwed. Two eighty three to two fifty five, we're losing right now. Could be worse.
you don't you don't see the announcements of it or anything, but when he's out there eliminating my operatives, you see now that I only have one operative in Texas. It makes it really hard to win the game. I mean, you're just basically wasting millions of dollars that way. Operatives and the ideology are the two most important parts of the game. to turn out okay. That's $750,000 I've lost just doing that. playing as Elizabeth Warren with Barack Obama as my running mate, and I'm losing Illinois to Donald Trump and Rand Paul. I'm also losing California, heavily. wasn't the one that I wanted to get rid of. This game, man.
What a BS announcement that is. To New Hampshire we go. It's not going to matter. Need an operative. I mean, every last little bit of this game just screwed me over. This wasn't even fun. I can't imagine this was much fun to watch either. I mean, sometimes you get lucky and sometimes you get games like this where you're just... You're gonna lose Florida by 22 points. I mean, when you can buy infinity operatives, and I don't have any operatives remaining on the board, zero. Live from the Fly the W studio, let's watch Chris get absolutely smoked here as Liz Warren versus the incumbent Donald John Trump here in the 2020 election. This is not even going to be worth watching right now. <laughs> I apologize for how this game has gone. Let's see how we did. Five, four, three, two, one. Give me Pennsylvania. Pitiful. I did pull out Illinois with Vice President Barack Obama. Oh my God, look at this. We're gonna skip the post-game analysis on this one. This is one of those games. Thank you everybody for watching. It's Chris Strub here in the Fly the W studio. Make sure again that you hit that subscribe button here before you go. The game was actually a little bit closer than I thought it was gonna be. There's your breakdown. Lost the popular vote by 10 million votes. We were only outspent about 17 million to 9 million though. Usually it's significantly more than that at this level of difficulty. So you see there are those ideology points though. That made all the difference. Even though I did outspend him in the ideology points, um, he just bought so many planks. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you next time.